Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Taquan. You already know what it is. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Top One, and I'm back with another video. As you can see, I'm standing outside, walking around a little bit outside. It's a beautiful day. I'm like, I ain't about to be staying in the house all day. Shoot, I really ain't doing nothing. But <clears throat> I'm just outside today, just enjoying this beautiful view that's outside. And today's video. My topic is going to be loving yourself, you know, like appreciating yourself a little more, you know, doing more for yourself, loving yourself a little more, because I remember back when I was small, I used to hate everything about myself, I didn't appreciate myself. Like, I used to hate everything about myself, how I looked, how I sounded, everything I did. I used to hate my name. And it's like, after I graduated from high school, went to college, see how I look now. I'm like, but I'm going to give y'all a little story about how much I hated myself. I used to hate myself so much to the point to where I pretty much didn't know my worth on a lot of things. And it's like I went more for people's approval of what they thought of me more than doing for myself. And it's like I used to change myself for a lot of people just to get approval or I worry about, oh, what, what they going to think of me. And it's like, now life is just too short to be worrying about what other people think of you and stuff like that. So, like, at one time, I wanted to change everything about myself. I wanted to change how my body looked. Like, I used to hate myself. Like, I used to hate myself to the point to where I became suicidal. I thought about suicide. I thought about jumping off the top of the stairs at school to end it all. There are times I even thought about getting a gun from my uncle and shoot myself in the head with it. There are times to where I started cutting, cutting my wrists with broken pencils and I used to think to myself, a lot of people would just be better off if I was dead or if I never existed, then everybody would be better off. And I've actually talked to my mother about this. And she told me, no, you don't want to do that because, you know, you have a God that loves you. You have a family that love you. You have a mother that love you. You have a church family that love you. Y'all ignore the pimple right, right near my eye. I don't care about that. I still look good. But um, my mom told me, you got people that love you. Don't let the devil put no tricks in your mind. And it's like when you trying to get yourself right and stuff like that. It seemed like the devil would do all he can to try to mess you up, to try to, you know, put stuff in your mind thinking, oh, no, don't nobody want you, don't nobody need you, you better off dead. There are times to where I used to think that even God himself didn't, didn't love me. 
because the devil used to put stuff in my head saying, oh, God don't want you. God ain't got no place for you. He ain't got no space for you. You nothing but a waste and a breath to him. To him, you're nothing. And I was like, I used to believe that. That where I was stupid at. I used to believe that. But my mom told me, you have a God that does love you. You have a church, you have a family, you got leaders that love you. Don't let the devil trick you. And it just seems like sometimes when you get so down, you get so down on yourself. It's like at that time, it's like you forget about your works. And it's like when you forget about your work, and you start getting so down and start getting low, that's when that when the devil going to hit you. And he's going to start toying with your mind. And he's going to mess with you every chance that he can. Putting stuff in your head to make you kill yourself, to do stupid stuff that you never did and ain't supposed to do. Because I done did it. And I'm just saying like, don't let the devil put stuff in your mind to try to mess you up or to make you think, oh, yeah, to God, you're nothing. Well, I'm going to let you know this. God loves us. He loves me and he loves you. He loves everybody. He don't like your sin, but he loves us and he loves me. And I know he loves me because if he didn't love me, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be alive right now. And that's one thing that I have to focus on. God loves us. He don't hate us. Because if he wanted to destroy, if God wanted to destroy us, if he hated us, he would have been destroyed us. Period. So, when you get down on yourself, just think about this. Just put your mind on God. And he will provide. Just keep praying. And he'll be there for you. That's all you got to do. Just keep on praying. Just trust and believe that he'll make everything okay. And it's like, I know that now. And it's like, I used to let the devil play with my mind. It's like, I be having full out battles in my head with the devil. To where he be putting negative things in my head towards people. And I try to fight it and I rebuke it. And it's like as soon as after as soon as after I finish fighting, it's like I feel so tired. It's like my, my energy would just drain out of my body and just go away. It's like after a mental battle with the enemy. It'll leave you so drained. It's like you don't know what to do, but just lay down on the floor and go to sleep. Because there are times to where having mental battles with the enemy would leave me so drained. I'd be ready to lie on the floor and go to sleep. Like, I'd be so tired. That just goes to show he'd be tormenting your mind. And there were many days to where I lived with the devil torment in my mind, talking about you nothing, you ain't going to be nothing. And I'm going to put it like this. I am a somebody. You are somebody too. Don't ever think that you, that you are nobody because you're not a nobody. Sure, it may be a lot of people out there that's not saved. That's not doing right all the time, but you got goodness in your heart and God sees you as somebody. It was one customer that came to my job one day and I spoke to him and we talked about God a little bit and he said that he was a nobody. And I told him, no, sir, you're not a nobody. You are a somebody. To God, you are somebody. To me, you are somebody. You only are nobody if you accept it. But to me, to you, you are somebody. 
and I see it. You are somebody, and God loves you. You're not a nobody. I used to think that I was a nobody at one time. I, I felt just like him one time. I used to think I was a nobody. I used to think I was a zero. I used to think that God hated me because of what the things I did in my past, the things I done did. I done did stuff I'm not proud of. Everybody's did stuff they're not proud of. Everybody done sinned. So that don't make me no better than anybody else. But I do know when I do get saved, and I'm talking about when I really do get saved, I get the real thing. I'm going to send the devil on running. Because, like, I want it for real, and I want to change my life. I don't want to be left behind here when God come back, because he is coming back. And a lot of people do not know this. God is right up on the back door. He's close. He's coming, and he's close. He right up on our back door right now. So when I do get saved, I'm hoping and praying that I get the real thing. And that I don't be fake with it. And that I do the will of God what I'm supposed to do. And do my work what I'm supposed to do. And just make God smile and make him happy with me. Because I be tired of letting him down so many times. But the moral of my story is. Love yourself. As soon as you start loving God. And he start blessing you. You start learning to love yourself. And when you love yourself. And you start loving God. And God come in your life. Nothing can stop you. The devil going to try to stop you. And he's going to try to tempt you. But. Ain't no devil in hell that's going to stop you. Or stop you from giving God joy. Or giving him a praise. Ain't nothing going to stop you. I may go through what I go through right now. But I'm not going to let the devil stop me. I'm going to keep on going. And I'm going to keep fighting. So my moral is. Love yourself. If you learn to love yourself. And learn to love God. You will go afar. Don't say that you're a nobody. I used to feel that way. I used to want to try to kill myself. But now. I value my life more. Than I ever did. Especially if you in a blessed church. And you got a God on your side. And he's watching over you. Just know you are blessed. I just wanted to bring that out to everybody. You are blessed. With God on your side. You are blessed. And there's nothing that a devil in hell can do. To stop you from your joy. Because I'm going to let you know this. I refuse to let the devil steal my joy. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Everybody's somebody. God loves everybody. And I'll see y'all. I'll go ahead and stop this right here. I want y'all to have a good day. And be blessed. And remember, God loves y'all. Alright.